ovulation and menstruation so let's look at the difference between ovulation that is the release of a mature egg and the monthly bleeding so as we said earlier on all right so ovulation is the release of a mature egg all right the release of a mature egg from the ovary all right so that is this is your egg these are the ovaries all right so that is the release of a mature egg from the ovary while on the other hand okay uh, menstruation is the bleeding or the monthly bleeding or what many people know as period all right that is the shedding of the uterine lining through the vagina all right so basically that is the blood or the monthly blood that women experience all right so that is exactly what menstruation is let me expound that a little bit all right so when a mature egg is released all right that is ovulation and therefore when this mature egg meets the sperm fertilization will occur and when fertilization occurs it means that that particular woman becomes pregnant okay so that is ovulation in simpler terms now when this egg is released okay remember Previously, we said when the egg is released and it meets the sperm, fertilization occurs. But for menstruation, when this egg is released, all right, and it does not meet the sperm, okay, therefore it comes out as what? As blood. And that's why here it's written that shedding of the uterine lining through the vagina. So I just wanted to make that um clear for you to be able to understand so when fertilization has not occurred it means that this particular woman all right is not pregnant and therefore that particular egg or the uter or the uterine lining now comes out as blood all right so that is the most important difference of course that you need to learn the other thing is that ovulation happens in the middle of the cycle by in the middle we mean that is from day 14 all right from day 14 of your cycle that is for 28 day cycle all right so day 14 that's when you're ovulating that is for the 28 day cycle if you're for the 27 day cycle then your ovulation is on the 13th day all right so it depends with your menstrual cycle of course we have the 21 we have the 27 the 28 we have the 35 basically woman to woman now for menstruation it happens at the start of the cycle at the start of the cycle meaning it's when you're starting your period so day one all right that is your menstrual cycle and therefore uh, menstruation happens at the start of the cycle and normally it lasts for three to seven days we have those ones that will of uh, most importantly for the young girls they'll menstruate for three days or they'll go for their periods for three days all right so it's it could be three it could be four it could be five or seven they say that if you go beyond or above seven days therefore you need to be checked because that is not normal all right difference number three is that ovulation is uh, during ovulation the body is preparing for pregnancy basically just as we said because the egg has been released and therefore the egg is waiting for the sperm in order for fertilization to occur and that's why that's why they're saying the body is preparing for pregnancy while on the other hand during menstruation your body is shedding the uterine lining therefore resetting the body for a new menstrual cycle all right so once you're done with your periods that's another menstrual cycle all right so that is the difference number three difference number four all right during ovulation fertilization can happen if sperm is present and when fertilization has happened that woman therefore becomes pregnant once again during ovulation fertilization can happen if sperm is present and therefore 
if the sperm is not present you now go to menstruation all right now during menstruation no fertilization has occurred all right so these the uh for ovulation and for menstruation like they work hand in hand when one has not happened the other will happen if the other one has happened the other one will not happen so basically that is the difference between ovulation and menstruation for men because this i've done this video specifically for men because i've received this uh, message or rather a uh, question a lot from men so basically ovulation the release of a mature egg if it meets the sperm fertilization occurs and therefore that woman becomes pregnant while on the other hand menstruation is the monthly period because the egg was released it did not meet the sperm fertilization did not occur and therefore the uterine lining is shed off in form of blood that comes from or that comes out through the vagina so basically that's it's basically that simple. I know it's a lot of science, but I hope that through this video, you've been able to learn. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to share this particular video so that once again, lots and lots of people are able to learn the difference between ovulation and menstruation. Please like, comment, and be sure to share. Thank you so much for watching.